So I want to talk a bit today about some of my reflections since the last time I posted a devlog. And there are a few things that have happened. Like for example, I I stopped with my current project of uh, creating or my previous project of creating an action role playing game. And I switched over to more of a open world uh, sandbox style game. And my reflections about how that transition has been and, and what that means for my project and the pretty aggressive target I've set up for myself. So I have this target of completing um, and releasing a game by 1st of July. And that is about 10 weeks from now. And I'll try not to only talk about these things from, from my personal perspective perspective but also hopefully in a way that that can be interesting for you as a listener or viewer and something that you can maybe learn from or that you can use as a point of entry into your own reflection so i think as the the, the thing about switching project for me has been like it's it's a balance between two things like on the one hand I want to complete something that's that's a very important thing to me i don't want to get stuck in this this place of just building switching project building switching project and never completing anything but on the other hand i also don't want to as a beginner game developer just be stuck with the first idea that i have and just force myself to complete it in any shape or form. So I think it's important as a beginner to to kind of to think a bit about that you don't have perfect information and maybe not only as a beginner but I think especially as a beginner you don't really know what it's going to be like to create the game idea that you have in your head. So it might be important in a way to to try a few different things, get a feel for what your game idea actually means when you're trying to implement it. How long does it take? How big is the scope? What's the complexity? Like, how long is it going to take to complete something like that? And as long as you reflect on it and think about these things i think that's that then it can be a very valuable learning experience at least um so i think don't don't take it too lightly to do something like that but should should not never do it i think so for me like with the arpg i i can take away a lot of learning experience like it's the first thing i ever created in a game engine it's the first, th first thing i created in godot i got to use animations i've i've got to learn about state machines i i got very um up to speed with like how the godot engine works how to find information about godot the thing with like the versions that there's more prevalent documentation at least outside of godot's own documentation that is godot 3 and like if you're asking a chatbot or something that's going to be godot 3 those kind of nuances makes me and i think will make you whether you're using godot or unity or anything else more ready and more prepared whenever you start your next project so i think you will you will already be ahead of where you started on your first project when you start on your next project. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of that. Um, and so one of the things I try to reflect the most on has been, I need to think harder about the timeline that I have. Like my target is to release something by in 10 weeks and like what what are the steps what are the steps that i need to complete during those 10 weeks and uh, like how can i make a game interesting 
that that only takes me 10 weeks to complete like and, and I've had to reflect on things like what makes a game because something I, I noticed when I created the ARPG ARPG I guess we can barely call it that but I think you get the point that it was barely a game it was more like hey there's a character here on the screen you can move it around a bit you can attack something they attack back you die um but it took like two minutes at most to complete it and there's no replayability at all so there has to be other things in the game that makes it an interesting game like what are the game mechanics um What's the progression for the player? Like, is it difficult? Is it too difficult? Is it too easy? Those kind of things. So I've actually started reading a bit also um, outside of the time I spend at the computer building. Like, I, I started reading this book about, um, and I can post a link in the in the show notes. This book about what makes a game fun, and like how do you make a fun game? Um, and just reflecting about these things I think is super important especially when when planning and building out um, your game that you want to complete within a certain timeline like what are the what are the smallest things what are the components like the core components that your game cannot be without I think reflecting about those things is very important so that's what I'm trying to do now with the with the sandbox game or like the open world survival game that I'm building. I'm trying to think about in parallel with doing the like building up the foundation of the game, what will be the core game mechanics that makes it fun? Like what's the minimum viable product that I can release to my friends and family that they can actually try and this is a game that they can feel, oh, this was actually difficult or like this was a challenge, but I, I overcame it. I can actually sit and have fun with this. What will make your game pop like that? And so I don't really know where I'm, I'm going with this, but for me, yeah, I, I just wanted to reflect a bit on on the journey because now I've been doing this for four weeks or something like that and it's not been as I thought it would be it's not been a linear path or progression there's been a lot of building like talking with the in the community joining different discord groups just reading content looking at videos listening at podcasts and of course, when you're doing these things, you learn and then the view of the path ahead and the journey you're on, it's going to change. So then it makes sense, I think, to to revisit your earlier decisions and your goals and and adjust the the course that you're on. So yeah, that's... Uh, that's all I wanted to say today. Just some some reflections from my side on, on this game development journey. I hope everything is going good in in your journey and that, that you're learning things and that you're developing as a person and as a game developer or as a creative uh, as a creative person in any any shape. Um and yeah, it would be really interesting to hear in the comments or on the discord channel what what you're working on and and how that is going and and if like what is your experience with um, these kind of reflections and changing course during your projects cool thank you so much for for watching as always uh, so if you liked the video i would uh, appreciate the like and uh, also, if you could consider pressing the subscribe button. Thank you so much.